Namaste. My name is Greg Prescott from in5d.com and today we're going to be talking about the Nasara Jasara new rainbow currency. What we've been seeing on the internet floating around are similar posts like this where it goes on to say a new USA Treasury rainbow currency will come into being backed by gold, silver, and platinum precious metals. A new USA Treasury bank system will be initiated in alignment with constitutional law. The Federal Reserve Board system will be abolished. Personal financial privacy will be restored. All judges and attorneys will be retained in constitutional law. All aggressive USA government military actions worldwide will cease and global peace will be established. Every American citizen over the age of 21 will receive $100,000 a month for 11 years, but the farmers' claims will be paid first. Here, the settlements will include debt forgiveness of $300,000, including mortgages, credit cards, and loans for each farming family. I became curious after seeing that post and I wondered, okay, how far back does this Nasara Jasara post go, promising all these things that are going to be happening imminently. So I actually found a post on Facebook dated back to 2016, uh, July 24th, 2016. And I was curious, okay, how much further back can I find these exact words. So I did an exact quote and went back further in time and found the same exact thing in 2012. So it's been at least eight years since this premise has been floating around and nothing has came to fruition. Now some of you may be watching this video embedded into the article. I have an article that I'm putting together entitled Nasara Jasara New Rainbow Currency where I show you all of the research that I've done including links to come to this conclusion. So on the I went through the uh, nasara.org website via the Wayback Machine and what we have here is when it first appeared in 2001 so it was this National Economic Stabilization and Recovery Act now that's the key word right now uh, and I get further into it in the article because it became something else afterwards but initially this is what Nasara stood for and you can see this is the website that they had back in 2001. Here's the Wayback Machine where you can see the history of Nasara on there. So, okay, it started out in 2001. It got a lot of traction apparently in 2002. Here's where I saw in 2012 that that quote that I had just read you initial, uh, initially appeared on the internet. And then it went through a period of time where there was nothing going on here. And I'll show you as we walk through this. So this was the first one in 2001, the original website. And then it, by 2015, as I showed you on the timeline, you see at the beginning, uh, well, what's going on here? Well, we clicked on that and this is what we found for January 2015. This domain has temporarily been disabled to restore the domain, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, okay, we're, so we're going through the timeline, and here it is back in 2012. There's a couple points here, actually, I, I want to bring up on this. This is really interesting because if there were any credibility to the Nasara Jasara Act and Trump being aboard it, look at the key phrase right here, draining the swamp. So obviously that's, that's a key phrase used by President Trump, draining the swamp. And uh, you know a lot of people are putting 
one and one together in that fashion, saying that President Trump is tied in with Nasara slash Jisara. But here it is, Harvey Bernard. Now, for those of you who don't know, Harvey Bernard was the person that put together this reformation bill. And if you do the math, According to this one article, let's let's bounce over there. There's a, a there's a really great article that I reference in my article because I got a lot of great information from this. So Harvey Bernard was a retired en engineer from Louisiana who drafted a model of the Nassara Jassara bill 13 years ago. Now this article was put out in 2004, so 13 years ago would make it 1991. So that's how far back the Nasara Jisara, actually just back then it was only called Nasara. Uh, you can replace the N with a G and that would stand for global. But anyway, that's, that's back in two, uh, 1991, <laughs> as far back as um, Bernard goes with that. So it goes on to say that there, this whole Nasara research that the gentleman that wrote this article um, talks about was said that Bernard was one of the dark agenda stooges. Uh, so if you actually go through and try to find any bill that was allegedly passed in secrecy, you won't find anything. So this is a huge heads up. So I continued to do more informa uh, information seeking and I was led to the Louisiana Business Directory, which says that this is an actual, the Nasara is an actual business listed under junior colleges and technical institutes. Now they do have a phone number listed on this page. I'm not going to give it out personally. That's not my, I don't want other people calling, but I tried calling. And uh, this is the phone call that occurred. June 26th, 2020, calling Nasara. Hello? Hi, is this Nasara? Wrong number. That's what I thought. Thank you. So as you can see, there are no credible facts backing Nasara and or Jasara. I want this to be something that's real and tangible. But from what I found out through my own research, it's hot air and bullshit. So my heart is with anyone that believes in Nasara and Jasara. It's a wonderful premise, but nothing is provable on it. So take that with a grain of salt. Sorry to bring you this information, the news. Please do your own research as well and tell me what you have found and if you have discovered anything different. So references. Until the next time, this is Greg from InfiD sending you all infinite love and light. Namaste.